Hello, I'm Dr. Eric Cole with the SANS Institute. Today I want to talk to you about the CISSP examination. Many people look at that and have a hard time passing that certification and the problem is they don't really understand what's required to pass the CISSP exam. There's really three things that are required. Technical knowledge, thinking the way ISC squared wants you to think, and knowing how to take exams. In my opinion, the technical knowledge is only 60 to 65 percent of what's needed in order to become certified. Therefore, if all you do is study manuals and read the books, you're not going to be there. The exam is very, very difficult, and what SANS does in their course is we focus on not just giving you the answer, but teaching you how to reason through the problems so you can arrive at the correct answer. The whole idea is throughout the whole SAN CISSP course, we are teaching you how to think the way ISC squared wants you to think. So when you get to the exam and you get really difficult questions and you're not sure what the answer is, you'll magically be able to arrive at the correct answer because you've been trained in the proper method and know how to behave and answer the questions. This is one reason why we have one of the highest pass rates on most certification exams where we can actually validate the results at a 98% pass rate because we spend class time teaching you the technical knowledge, teaching you how to think the way you're supposed to think for ISC squared and teaching you test taking tips and tricks so you can successfully become certified. So join the thousands of other people who have taken SANS courses, see the SANS difference, and if you need additional information, you can either look at the SANS website, www.sans.org, or contact me, eric, at sans.org for more details.